electric mountain bike kinematics, innovative designs, and full carbon builds are now at Fly Rides from Orbea. This electric mountain bike brand hails from Spain. You have probably seen them at least on your computers, if not out on the trails. And we've got them now at Fly Rides, and we were able to lock down an Orbea Wild FS M10. Luckily, we've got Austin on it. He's gonna put it through its paces. These wild full suspension electric mountain bikes from Orbea are some of the best enduro and all mountain bikes on the market right now. They're really unlike any other build out there. For 2021, Orbea really focused on reworking their kinematics, so their bike geometry and things like that, so that this bike performed unlike any other. Before we get into specs, don't forget to subscribe to the Fly Rides Electric Bike channel if you want to see more electric mountain bike content and electric bike content in general. We've got tech tips, we've got reviews, sometimes we'll even take you live to some electric bike events. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you know when our new videos come out. But for right now, let's check out the Orbea Wild FS M10. You know what we're gonna do first? Let's talk about specs, baby. Let's talk about specs, baby. Starting off with the motor, you have got the Bosch Performance Generation 4 CX motor that is gonna offer 85 newton meters of torque and 250 watts, along with a 625 watt hour battery standard, but you can piggyback a power pack onto this bike as well if you wanna go for 1125 watt hours. That motor power partners with some pretty incredible gear ratio on the Shimano Dior XT Shadow Plus 12 speed derailleur in the back there. You've also got a Sunrace cassette on 11 to 51 teeth. That's going to ensure that you can climb some pretty intense grades so that you can take this bike on what it was designed for, which is really technical steep terrain. Your suspension is from Fox front and rear. In the front, you've got that Fox 38 float performance fork with 160 millimeters of travel. That means 38 millimeter stanchions. Those 38 millimeter stanchions are going to eat up rocky terrain. And then in the back, you have got the Fox DPX2 shock and your brakes are gonna be four piston hydraulic disc brakes from Shimano. Now, of course, you know, if you watch this channel, you can't just slap nice specs on a bike and expect it to ride well. And that is something that everybody is talking about with this year's Orbea bikes. And that is that the kinematics and the geometry just work really incredibly well. It's not just a bike that they've slapped on a motor and a battery. It actually all works as one package. It's meant to be an electric mountain bike. You do have a pretty traditional e-mountain bike enduro geometry on this bike with 65.5 degrees in the head tube angle and then a 76 degree seat tube angle. This bike is going to run you $79.99 for the 2021 model year. Keep in mind that this is going to be a full carbon frame and it's really hard to overemphasize how well this bike rides. So you're definitely paying for those updated kinematics. I maybe have said kinematics more in my life in the last five minutes than I ever have. It's difficult to tell without riding it, but I am gonna get you as close as I can to riding it. And that's having Austin put it through its paces, take this thing down some really rocky, crazy terrain and hear what he thought of it. I have a feeling he kind of liked it because I already talked to him about it. I know he already liked it, but let's go watch it right now. Austin, take it away. Now that we've gone over specs, we're out here day two on the Orbea FS Wild M10. It's a beautiful bike. Don't get distracted by the view. It's insane right now. It's just before sunrise or up above the clouds. So without further ado, let's go shred it. It rained recently, so there's probably some good rain ruts, but uh, yeah, let's uh, put this wild M, <laughs> wild, wild FS M10 to the test. Oh, right away into the steep section. Suspension's doing great. Avoid the rain rut. We're sliding a little bit. Hit this little jump. Let go of the brakes. And man, this bike just holds speed so well. So, so well. Let's pull up. That is one thing I know we are going to experience on this trail. This bike's 160 millimeters of travel, full 29er. So yeah, it's going to roll over everything we pointed at. All right, let's concentrate a little bit. Woo. Oh man, this bike is holding its speed so well. Long wheelbase, I forgot to mention, I'm on an XL. 
full carbon frame, weighs about 52.9 pounds. Woo. All right, as I said, I haven't ridden this trail in a while. Oh man, <laughs> trying to be mindful of anything that's changed. Woo. I rode this yesterday with Scott, shot a little bit of B-roll secondary footage and didn't really push it to the limit. And I know I told myself I was going to chill today, but just after that first section, I am. I'm a little floored, I'm a little blown away. That bike handled the, it handled the speed so well. You know, you say, oh, I'm gonna chill out, and then the bike just makes you wanna go even faster. So I'm gonna have to keep myself on a le leash today. Right, Take the inside line. Woo. All right, got a little bit of flat section right here. Now right back over the edge. This is super steep. As I predicted, there's a rain rut in the middle and I'm stuck in it right now. Woo! All right. Stuck in the rain rut. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that might look good on camera, but that was sketchy. Jump to start. Woo! Hit this little catch firm. I will say, I had heard that this bike isn't very playful in the air because of its long wheelbase, but uh, I'm finding a little bit otherwise, just able to pop up over that little corner right there. All right, one last talking break here. We just pedaled back up the mountain after that steep ridgeline descent, and all I can say is I am incredibly impressed. I, I say that a lot about a lot of bikes, but the fact is, I told myself I was going to hang out today. I kind of did, but this bike just wanted to go, and I couldn't say no. It was stable, the wheelbase is perfect, the 29ers rolled incredibly, it didn't feel sluggish. I had a little bit blown away, honestly. It was fantastic, can't wait to take it down the last section of this single track. We'll go a little bit more mellow, talk a little bit more, um, and yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna ride the brakes down this nice little ridge line and we're gonna appreciate the view that we have today because how can you not? We're on a beautiful, Spanish designed Orbea riding straight into the clouds. Sunrise, 75 degrees. What else could I say? All right, let go of the brakes a little bit. Woo. Get this little gap cleared. Pedal, 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 as they say. Pedal, 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 pedal. We'll take a little bit of a beeline here. It's kind of fun. A little old, a little drop, small jump. Woo! Oh, hoo -hoo. that was sketchy. That jump is not existent anymore. All right, now we'll send it over to the last big cabooter, the drop, the grand finale. Perfect. No more complaints. Let's get back to the van and uh, head over to the store. So one more thing I wanted to mention here before we go is that this is the 2021 edition. The 2022 model is going to have a couple of spec changes that you'll probably want to take a look at before you decide which one of these bikes you're going to pick up. I can't really say which is better or which is worse. They just have some differences that you'll want to take into account before picking up either the 2021 or the 2022. The 2021s though are going to be very limited, so make that decision quickly. Thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Fly Rides electric bike channel. Leave a comment below and let us know if you have any questions on the Orbea bikes. And until next time, enjoy the ride.